In machining, carbide is king. We use it every day, and for most jobs it gets the work done. But what happens when the material gets tougher, harder, or more heat resistant? There's a point where carbide reaches its limit, and that's where advanced cutting materials come in. CBN, ceramics, and PCD allow us to machine parts that would otherwise be slow, costly, or simply impossible. Erez here, from the Machining Doctor website, and in this video, I will break down the use cases when these tools make sense, how they perform, and the real-world trade-offs you should keep in mind before choosing them. What makes these materials special? They share one critical property. They're all significantly harder than carbide grades, which means they can machine exotic or hardened materials that are either impossible with carbide, or need to be machined much slower, and with shorter tool life. Let's start by comparing the hardness. Carbide sits at 1300 to 1800 HV, ceramics jump up to 2100 to 2400, that's about 40% harder than carbide. CBN takes it further, reaching 4500 to 5000. And PCD inserts are the top at 5 to 6000, making them the hardest cutting material available. But hardness comes at a cost. Where a carbide cutting edge might cost around $4, ceramics run about $10, CBN jumps to $40, and single cutting edge of a PCD insert can cost $160. Don't be put off by the price. We will go into each category to see when it's worth considering despite the high cost. Let's start with CBN. This is the second hardest material known, second only to diamond. What makes CBN truly special isn't just its hardness. It's the combination of hardness, hot hardness, and chemical stability. Carbide can't machine materials harder than 45 HRC. But CBN inserts can handle steel up to 70 HRC. Think about what this means for your shop. You can now turn parts that previously required grinding operations at a completely different cost. On cast iron, CBN can run three times faster than coated carbide. We're talking 1500 millimeters per minute, or 5000 SFM. For super alloys like Inconel, you can run five times faster. Here, in some cases, the increased productivity can justify the higher cost. But there are more trade-offs. The high price is obvious, but there's also the limitation on depth of cut. You're restricted by the size of the brazed CBN tips. There's also the option of solid CBN inserts for heavier machining, but the cost becomes astronomical. Ceramic inserts are made from aluminum oxide or silicon nitride. At 21 to 2500 HV, they sit between carbide and CBN, but at a much more affordable price point. For hardened steel up to 55 HRC, Ceramics provide an economical middle ground between carbide and CBN. In cast iron, they can run six times faster than coated carbide, making them a popular solution in many production lines where high productivity is a priority. But where ceramics truly dominate is machining nickel based superalloys, like Inconel 718, where it can run up to seven times faster than carbide. Some of these aerospace components are of considerable size and can take hours to complete. In such cases, this speed increase translates to massive cost savings that dwarf the higher insert price. The next cutting material we explore is PCD, the hardest cutting material available. It's a synthetic diamond created by sintering diamond particles with a metal matrix under extreme temperature and pressure. The result? A material that's 90 to 95% diamond, reaching hardness levels near 6000 HV. Because of its extreme hardness, PCD is very brittle, even when compared to other advanced cutting materials. This brittleness restricts its use to softer materials, such as non ferrous. Aluminum is the main application, followed by plastics and brass. In aluminum machining, PCD has virtually no cutting speed limit. You're only restricted by the machine's RPM and stability. 
Yes, a PCD cutting edge costs 40 times more than carbide, but in mass production, especially automotive wheel manufacturing, it becomes cost effective. It's not only the speed, but also the excellent wear resistance, superior surface finish, and easier tolerance control. A mid-range solution between PCD and carbide is DLC coating. DLC stands for diamond-like carbon. It is a specialized surface coating made from a nanocomposite of carbon and hydrogen. Applied through PVD or CVD processes, it exhibits diamond-like properties including high hardness, excellent wear resistance, and chemical inertness. It can serve as a more affordable alternative to PCD for aluminum machining. While PCD remains superior, DLC provides some of those advantages at a fraction of the cost. While it's not considered an advanced material, another non-carbide option worth mentioning is Cermet. As its name suggests, Cermet combines ceramics and metals, usually nickel. This creates a substrate harder than carbide, enabling higher cutting speeds and better wear resistance. However, the very low toughness limits Cermet to finishing applications under very stable conditions. It works best for finishing operations and turning of steel and cinder metals. In these cases, you can run 10 to 20% faster than carbide while achieving better surface finish. To summarize, I will recap the classic use cases where you should seriously consider investing in one of these options. For hardened steel, above 50 HRC, CBN is often your only practical option besides grinding. For the 45 to 55 HRC range, ceramics offer a good balance of performance and cost. For cast iron roughing, ceramics provide amazing productivity. For super alloys, ceramics are typically the most economical choice for heavy removal, with CBN reserved for finishing. For aluminum and non-ferrous materials, PCD provides more productivity, longer tool life, and better surface finish but the price is crazy expensive, and very few applications justify the cost.